Philip Schofield has reignited controversy with his explosive claims that his career might have survived if his affair had been with a woman instead of a younger male colleague. But ITV bosses are fuming, calling his statements totally untrue. As Schofield spills the tea on his new reality series, he also takes aim at the three of showbiz who he believes betrayed him. So, what's the real story behind the fallout? In his new reality show Castaway, Philip Schofield made a bold claim that has left ITV executives fuming. The former This Morning host suggested that if his affair had been with a woman, rather than a much younger male colleague, he would have been treated differently by the network. According to Schofield, he believes he would have received a pat on the back instead of being ostracized and forced out of his long-standing position. His remarks came as a shock to many, but ITV insiders were quick to shut down this narrative, insisting that the fallout had nothing to do with the gender of his partner but everything to do with his dishonesty. Schofield was accused of lying to his colleagues, bosses, and the public about the nature of his relationship, which ultimately led to his downfall. The network maintains that the consequences would have been the same regardless of whether the affair was with a man or a woman. The disgraced presenter didn't stop there. He went on to vent his frustration towards what he called the three of showbiz, a trio of former colleagues whom he believes betrayed him during the scandal. While Schofield did not name names, he accused one of being a coward for not defending him during the infamous Q-Gate controversy and another for not standing up for him when a journalist accused him of getting them fired. His final jab was aimed at someone he described as brand-orientated, implying they cared more about their public image than loyalty. Speculation is rife about who these unnamed individuals might be, but Schofield's accusations paint a picture of a man who feels deeply wronged by those he once considered friends. Schofield's emotional outpouring on the show didn't end there. He also opened up about the darkest period of his life following his exit from this morning. The 62-year-old revealed that he had come dangerously close to taking his own life, detailing how his eldest daughter, Molly, managed to talk him down from the brink. It's a harrowing insight into the toll that the scandal has taken on him and his family. Despite the backlash and the pain, Schofield acknowledged his mistakes, admitting he had hurt the people around him and had regrets about his actions. He also expressed confusion over the severity of the public reaction, questioning whether the price he's paid is truly proportionate to his misdeeds. Adding fuel to the fire, Schofield hinted that his departure from ITV wasn't entirely voluntary, despite his previous claims. He suggested that he was pushed out, contradicting ITV's version of events that said he resigned abruptly after confessing to the affair in a statement to the Daily Mail. The network is standing firm, stating that Schofield's claims are misleading and that his decision to step down was entirely his own. Moreover, ITV sources have dismissed any speculation of him returning to the channel, despite his cryptic hints that he was approached for their popular reality show, I'm a Celeb. It seems that the bridges are well and truly burned between Schofield and the network that once championed him. The former TV host also appeared to mock his ex-co-host Holly Willoughby's famous Are You OK? speech, delivered during her first solo appearance on this morning after his departure. While hosting a family barbecue in the Channel 5 show, Schofield joked, If you're okay, then we're okay, and I'm okay. Are you okay? This apparent dig at his once close friend has only fueled speculation about the depth of their fallout. Holly has made no mention of Schofield in her public appearances, and sources close to her have indicated that she felt shaken, let down, and worried by the scandal which ultimately led to her leaving the show in October 2023. Philip Schofield's tell-all reality show has certainly stirred the pot, reopening old wounds and reigniting debates over his dramatic fall from grace. Do you think his claims have merit, or is he simply shifting the blame? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell for more updates on this and other showbiz controversies. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time!